Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising quadratics of the form x squared plus bx plus c. And we want to factorise these two expressions here. Now we know how to factorise expressions if we had a common factor. So if we had, for example, x squared plus 2x, that's relatively easy because we just look for a common factor here and here. What do they both have in common? Well, they both have x in common. So you'd factor out the x open up a bracket and then think, well, x times what is x squared? Well, it's x. And x times what is plus 2x? Well, it's plus 2. And if you don't know how to do that, please see my video on factorising out a common term first. But with this for example, x squared plus 5x plus 6, there's not a common factor to all of them, so we can't use the same strategy. But the strategy we can use is this. We just need to find two numbers which add to give this number here on front of the x. So they add to give the plus 5 and they multiply to give the plus 6. So they add to give the number in front of the x in the middle and they multiply to give this last number on its own at the end, the constant term as we call it. Well, what are those two numbers? What multiplies to give 6? Well, we could have 1 and 6 multiply to give 6, but they don't add up to give 5. Or it could be 3 and 2. 3 and 2 multiply to give 6, and they do add up to give 5. So what we then do is we have two brackets, put x at the start of each of them, and those two numbers you found, the 3 and the 2, you put them into these brackets here. So we have plus 3 and plus 2. It doesn't matter if they go the other way around. You could have x plus 2 times x plus 3. That would mean exactly the same thing. Let's use that strategy for the second one. So we've got x squared plus 17x plus 30. Again, we need to find two numbers which add to give the 17 and multiply to give the 30. Now there's a few more possibilities now in terms of numbers that multiply to give 30 and you might find it helpful to write out the factor pairs. So what numbers multiply to give 30? Well 1 and 30 multiply to give 30 but they don't add to give 17. Uh, 2 and 15 multiply to give 30, and they do indeed add to give 17. So again, we have two brackets, put an x at the start of each one, because we've got x here, and then we use those two numbers. So we've got the 2 plus 2 and the plus 15. Again, they could go the other way around.